a city in which ancient and modern architecture has been successfully combined. The city's octagonal tower and ancient temples, green parks and squares, dozens of fountains, museums, also delicious coffee in the museum's cafe and an amazing musical fountain on the city promenade. You can see all of this when you come to Vinica. Locals will show their hometown and tell you about its main tourist sites. And today we will continue our acquaintance with Vinica. The main architect of the city in the 19th and 20th centuries was Grigory Artinov. It was he who built the monuments, which are the symbols of the city. This is a tower located in the city center and the Savoy Hotel, as well as many other buildings. For example, schools or other buildings that are still used by townspeople and guests of the city. The water tower is presented near the sculpture of Grigory Artinov. It's built in the shape of an ectoedron and has seven tiers. The tower was built on the highest point in the city and it served as a fire station. The cultural calling card of Vinica is located on European Square. This is a 108-year-old tower. It is 28 meters high. It was built in 1911 as a water tower for the city's first water supply system. It's amazing because the building now looks the same as before. Clocks located on all four sides of the tower produce the Shedrick melody by Mikola Leontovich, and the townspeople can enjoy it. Today, the Vinica Tower is no longer just a former water tower, but part of the culture and the calling card of this beautiful city. This is a picturesque square not far from this place, where you can relax and enjoy the fountains. In Vinica, there is a tourist attraction that's worth seeing for everyone who comes to visit. It's located in the southwestern part of the city, in the picturesque Vishnya estate. It's here that the Mykola Perohov National Museum estate is located. We have the chance to visit this unique museum complex today. An outstanding scientist and surgeon lived and worked here for the last 20 years of his life. Welcome everyone to the Mykola Perohov National Museum estate. This is a unique museum complex which contains three buildings. The house where Pirohov lived the last 15 years of his life, the church and tomb, where his embalmed body has been stored for 130 years in the pharmacy museum. Mikol Ivanovich Pirohov was an outstanding scientist, a brilliant surgeon and anatomist. He's the creator of military surgery and founder of the Red Cross Society. He was a philosopher, a well-known teacher and public figure. Mikola Perohov was born in Moscow in 1810 into a large family and was the 13th child in the military family of Ivan Ivanovich Perohov. He received a primary education at home and at the age of 12 was sent to a real school for six years. Just aged 14, the young gentleman passed his exams and became a student in the medical faculty at Moscow University. He was not yet 18 when he completed the course of study. Back then, studies at medical universities lasted four years, and the young Piroho received a doctor's degree in the first department. He was ready to practice. And so began the professional life of an outstanding doctor and scientist. There was training at a professorship and the first successes in medicine. It was there that Mikola Perohov decided to work as a surgeon. He worked a lot, experimented and conducted experiments on animals. He defended his thesis at the age of 20 and became a doctor of medicine. Later there was an internship abroad. Perohov had an internship in Germany with renowned physiologists, anatomists and surgeons. Pirohov returned to Russia after some time and once again operated a lot. His phenomenal ability and awareness amazed even fellow surgeons and his former teachers who admired his skill. He published his scientific works and his students were proud of their mentor. Then there will be his unique work, but only medical. About this new science he founded called Surgical Anatomy. The work is called The Anatomy of Arterial Vessels and Facia, and there's also the Unsurpassed Atlas. There were few such atlases in the world. In this atlas you can see tables in which the images are made in their natural full size. After the publication of his incomparable atlas, Pirohov was invited to all universities of Europe. Mikola Pirohov accepted an invitation from the St. Petersburg Imperial Medical and Surgical Academy. 
because he understood that he would have more opportunities in his scientific work there. In 1841, he moved to St. Petersburg and worked there for 15 years. It was a very busy period in his personal life. He published his works in St. Petersburg, which made his name famous throughout the world. His first work was the full course of applied anatomy of the human body. Then came the pathological anatomy of Asian cholera. This work was a huge contribution to science at that time. But the peak of his scientific work was the ice anatomy. This is the topographic anatomy. We exhibit this unique atlas. We're the only museum in Ukraine that has the topographic anatomy by Mykola Perehov, first edition. The museum exposition is located on an area of over 1,000 square meters, where about 1,500 exhibits are located, each of which testifies not only to the life and work of Mikola Ivanovich Pirohov. Many unique museum exhibits can only be seen here. These are his manuscripts, personal belongings, graphics, paintings, sculptures. The museum exposition is updated constantly. The office of Mikola Perehov is the only reconstruction in our museum's exhibition. He worked in this office and created almost all of his practical military field surgery. His personal belongings are kept here. On the table are his works, which were published during his lifetime, his watch, pen and inkwell. And on the right, a stack of brown sheets, manuscripts from his last autobiographical work written in this office. The diary of an old doctor was written exclusively for himself, but not without the idea in the back of his mind that someone else would read it. Mikola Perhov loved to relax in this office, and it's where he entertained guests. He died in this office. After death, his body was embalmed and placed in a crypt, which is a real shrine. There is a museum pharmacy on the grounds of the museum estate, which is a kind of reproduction of the professional life of an outstanding scientist. The pharmacy of Mikola Perehov. Here you can see the reconstruction, his reception and operating room. If we talk about the reception room, then I'd like to say that it was just like that, and the patients looked like that. The reconstruction was done by Kyiv-based artist sculptor Spartak Britan, using a painting by famous artist Makovsky. The artist was a patient of Mykola Perehov. As for the operating room, I can no longer say that it looked precisely like that. Mykola Perehov spent a long time convincing officials of the medical department that he needed a pharmacy. Perehov got permission in 1870. You can see the embalmed body of Mykola Perehov in the crypt, which is located in the family church near the museum estate. The use of special techniques enables the body to be kept in a satisfactory condition. Whoever wishes to can visit the church and graveyard. This is a small part of the exposition about the life and work of Mykola Perehov, a brilliant scientist and outstanding surgeon. We still have lots of places connected in some way with this outstanding personality. Come and visit us, we'll be happy to see you! Now we'll visit an unusual museum. It's the Café Museum. Here we will see an interesting exposition and try some aromatic coffee. We are at the historical Panzavarkin and the Sun Café. It was founded and located in the apartment of the revenue house of its owner, Matvei Zavarkin. He was a Jew who changed his faith to orthodoxy and chose the name Matvei Zavarkin, because Zavarkin comes from brewing coffee and tea. Mr. Zavarkin sold colonial goods, tea and coffee. Actually, the café in which you can try real aromatic Arabica coffee was located in his apartment. You can also write a letter, as there is Mr. Zavarkin's original mailbox, and visit the Watch Museum, which is located inside the café.
You've come to the best place in Vinitsia. We're ready to serve you delicious aroma-filled coffee, which you can choose to suit your taste. The highlight of our place is that we're a museum cafe. Why? Because our story began way back in 1898. Our museum is filled with a variety of museum rarities, and each of our exhibits has its own history. In addition, the waiter and guide will introduce you to an interesting collection of watches that are hanging on the walls of the cafe. Here, guests are always made welcome. It will be interesting and tasty here. And if you want peace and comfort, we recommend you visit a place that'll really impress you. Why? Not every city can boast of such a forested area that Vinitsa has. There is a green island of coolness and relaxation within the city. Foresters are engaged in this recreational territory, and together with the city council, they have made a real gift to the townspeople. It gives us great pleasure to welcome you to the grounds of Vinitsa City Council. It combines sports and playgrounds. On the alley, which leads from Khmelnytsky Highway to the indicated sites, there are bicycle paths and a pedestrian zone. This alley is equipped with modern lighting. There's Wi-Fi. There are cameras too. Foresters also helped a lot. They placed interesting stands about the forest about animals, equipped this area with arbors and benches for holiday makers. Local residents and guests of the city are happy to relax here. The forest park area is suitable for people of any age. Come to us, to our forest park, a wonderful decoration of the city of Vinica. In addition to a walk in the forest park, you can also go for a walk along the Vinica embankment. You can ride boats and catamarans, admire the musical fountain. By the way, this is the world's largest river light and music fountain in open water. The fountain is located in a channel of the southern Buh River. You can enjoy an ice cream on the promenade and just sit on a bench or on the grass. Vinica is interesting, has different sides to it and always glad to see guests. We have seen many different and interesting things in Vinica, but to see more you need to plunge into the whole atmosphere by visiting this beautiful city.